this video I'm going to demonstrate some of the similar universal design for learning techniques that I did in my iPad tutorial, only I'm doing this from a Chromebook. Recording and screencasting from a Chromebook is still a little bit new, so I apologize if the sound quality and the video quality isn't quite the same as what I've been able to do in previous videos. So here I've got this article for CNN uh, on the Mars rover and just like I did in the iPad video we don't have pinch to zoom here on the Chromebook but we can enlarge text using some keyboard shortcuts so I can use the control key and the plus key to make the text larger you'll also notice here that the zoom icon uh, shows up so I can click on that and I can click reset to default I can also right click and get to the zoom settings. Pardon me, I guess I can't. Um, there is a way in the settings over here to go to the zoom manually. So I can come over here and click on the plus and the minus. But that's where those keyboard shortcuts of control plus to make the screen, the text larger, and control minus to reduce the screen text size and control zero to reset. So those are uh, equivalent to doing the pinch to zoom on the iPad and it's really handy when students are reading text to just give them that flexibility of enlarging the text that's on the screen. Similar to what I demonstrated on the iPad there are extensions that allow you to sort of strip away all of these side ads and enlarge the text one of those extensions is called Clearly, so I have it installed up here. I'm going to demonstrate that now. When I click on Clearly, the article is kind of going to be repurposed so that it's just the text and images. So you can see that it's a much cleaner look. And I can also come over here off to the side and click on the themes and this will allow me, pardon me, let me move this message here, and I can enlarge the text a little bit more. I can also do the control plus and control minus and enlarge the text even further. So this gives me a more focused ability to read an article. It takes away a lot of the distractions and brings the text to highlight. A similar app that has text-to-speech built in is called Announcify, so I'm just going to close clearly now and I'm going to open this now with the extension called Announcify. You will hear in the background there is some text-to-speech that will um, begin um, going. You'll also see, also see that the text is um, given kind of, most of the text is blurred and other text is then focused. Over here on the side is where you can pause. I've actually got the uh, voices, uh, must be set to another language at the moment, so I'll have to go into Announceify and go to the options and change setting. Set. Um, you can do that by right clicking. Um, usually you can go into the text to speech settings and then um, change. Right now it's set to French, so I will just move that over to English. Usually by default it's set at English. I haven't seen that happen before. Um, but again, the idea as it's reading, you can see that some of the text is grayed out, and as it um, highlights the text and reads, it will then gray out some of the other parts. So I'm going to show this. So that's a demonstration of ways to enlarge text and then also to create focus on text using um, extensions that strip away distracting materials.